We're going to have a fireside chat, uh, apparently without fire or uh, chairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, unscripted, I believe, although I see paper coming out. So. No, no, I have, I have, I have some, uh, some questions, and I've taken notes. Uh, I've made a few notes. You guys do it. I'm going thank you. Watch the thank you, Mike. Um, and yes, we have no stools, but uh, I guess we saved a little bit on the budget with, with the stools. But <clears throat> if you could stay up here, I have a, a couple observations and then a couple questions for you. Um, but I do want to start by saying uh, I am reminded every time I hear you talk how pleased I am that I, I hired you uh, away from IBM all those years ago. Uh, and we wouldn't uh, have had this type of success without you. I've told this story many times. It wasn't easy. Uh, it took many, many meetings over six months. And ultimately, to close the deal, it, it took me, uh, it took a little white lie, which I then ultimately went to confession for, because Richard asked me, he said, I just really need to know, am I at all crucial to your business plan? And I made a joke that, of course, he wasn't. It was all about me. Uh, but but the, the, the truth of the matter was, had he not joined, uh, who knows if I would have gotten those banks and wedged the money away uh, to start. So anyway, I have uh, a, a bunch of different notes that, uh, that I took today, a couple things, uh, a couple observations. Well, first off, I want to, again, thank Gavin Thomas for the kicks. I've had them on all day long. Uh, I haven't worn these uh, Commerce sneakers since like CYO in grade school. So it's been a really long time, but they're much cooler than my business shoes uh, in two ways, not in look and, and actually much cooler. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, and the, uh, the other thing I want to tell, this is as much for the, for the R3 folks as anything else. Uh, in Richard's new role, what I really did ask him to do is kind of question everything we're doing. You know, we're learning as you, you go. In order to be successful, you have to be religious about certain things to drive forward, but then you really have to kind of, you know, question, uh, you know, question where you're going at times. And we've, you know, we've struggled with that. But I think the, uh, the biggest advantage we've had recently is as people go into production, it gets very, very real very quickly. So we're learning and we're going to constantly uh, continue to improve. But some of, the, some of the notes I have today, and you mentioned some of the stuff, and, and there's a lot, of, a lot I have to learn about. But uh, first off, our engineers are working on some really cool stuff, but so is the entire community. And a few things that came up today, and you had on this last slide a couple of these, was the Visual Studio Code, which I have to learn about, uh, which apparently makes it easier for visuals uh, um, to add more visuals on your core apps and reduces the time to configure environments and all that, that sort of stuff. I need some of that uh, explained. This one's pretty easy. The dev preview of Java 11, uh, Java 11 is coming up in Q1, which um, I guess is a big deal. I like a couple of these names. The, uh, the truffle revealed a quarter flavored uh, ganache, which sounds like a bit of a dessert to me, but that's uh, <laughs> something that we're uh, excited about. Web, lab, Web 3 Labs is the first third party library to take advantage of the open API connector uh, and to make available Corda specific library for developers called Web3 Corda. How'd I do? Very, very good. Yeah, okay, well, I'm, I'm, cheating. I'm cheating a little bit, guys. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit. Um, but anyway, we're, we're excited about all that and uh, a few other things uh, that I've learned during the day, which we can talk about because I want to ask you a couple questions. I was right, well, I was going to say next door, but it wasn't next door, it was just in that part um, uh, for, for Duncan Wong's session earlier about some of the tools that he's built on top of Corda. And that's, you know, our goal is to make things easier to get folks into market and production uh, quicker, but also to help you kind of monitor your production-based applications. And the thing is, guys, with a community this size, we don't have to build everything. So we really encourage you all to, uh, to help us get better as well. And um, we look forward to integrating some of that work. So anyway, a couple things for you, Richard. Um, earlier today, uh, Catherine Parsons was up here talking about Decoded. And I really didn't know much about it. So I, I enjoyed, uh, I certainly enjoyed her presentation. But one of the things she asked was, when was the last time you learned something that really transformed how you think about things? 
It was, it was an interesting question because I think that was the slide where she had the, you know, the eyebrows. Oh, actually, they looked like two eyebrows, and then I thought, and then I, was, I guess it was, must have been hallucinating because they thought they, they, then they began to look like two sort of little maggots, and I couldn't take my, couldn't take my, couldn't take my, uh, couldn't take my eyes off them. Um, but I, but I did, I did close my eyes and I did think. And one of the things that struck me was it was. I'll, I'll, I'll cheat and answer this in, in, in two parts. One was, you know, I still remember when I had that light bulb moment where, where I first finally understood how Bitcoin worked. Um, and I guess because it, 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 you, you can think you understand it and then eventually there's just this, there's almost this, this elaborate sort of like, you know, chamber of this elaborately constructed um, sort of like, you know, edifice where I, uh, maybe I don't understand it, all of it, but I thought I did, how all these things interlock and there's suddenly this, this light bulb moment. But, but the thing that actually struck me when I was thinking earlier was it was, it was when I realized the, or at least one of the ways you can apply that insight to, you know, to the world of business. Because of course, you know, I was mentioning this to, 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 to somebody just outside the room earlier. You know, there's there's no magic. None of this technology is magic. It is just software running on computers. So, so how was it that things like Bitcoin and now Corda can help people reach consensus? How is it that we can hopefully take all this cost out of markets? How is it we can you know, enable new opportunities? And one of them, and, and I wrote a blog. I did write a blog post about this a while back, but the things only came back to me today. Was a lot of it is it's actually about rethinking business processes. So if you think about you know, how Bitcoin works, the reason people are in consensus is they've pre-committed to agree to things in advance. They've said, this is the code we will run. We will agree this is how it will be executed. And if the following things are true, then the following things apply. It's almost as if you've looked at all the things that could go wrong in, in the payment process and brought them all forward to the front of the process and said, we will pre-agree on everything that could go wrong. And therefore, when things are actually processed, it, we know for sure that things will be right. It, it's the same insight that we put into the settler. It's a bit of, there's nothing magic in the settler. The settler pattern is simple. What are all the things that can go wrong in a payment? I didn't receive it. It went to the wrong account. You know, it didn't. It got bounced back. Identify all those things and and identify and accept them and get them resolved at the start of the process. You know, how do you want to be paid? To which account? What will you accept as proof it happened? You know, remove all opportunity for game playing and, and and claiming it didn't happen, so that when it actually does happen, it just goes straight through. So that insight you know, from Bitcoin, you know, pre-commit on everything, so you can then deterministically achieve an outcome, is is, is really what we're doing, but we're doing it at a business level rather other than at a, 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 a cryptocurrency level. Hmm. So, you know, one of the things I was thinking about today was, uh, was when Roger did his presentation, which was completely packed. Hmm. You know, it's been, we were a distributed ledger technology company until we got too much grief, then we called ourselves a blockchain company, <laughs> and then we've kind of, now we talk about distributed computing. Yeah. I mean, it's nearly exhausting. Yeah. Uh, but just like kind of, I, you know, I, I've, I've talked about Elon before. I, I um, idolize the guy in some ways, uh, not necessarily personal life, but some of his ideas and, uh, uh, you know, the way he thinks about cars being uh, just pieces of hardware that you invest in, people don't need to own and the like. And, you know, Roger said uh, earlier how it just dawned on him that Corda actually could be uh, a blockchain. And he, uh, he, he demonstrated that, of course. I'm not a big believer in proof of work because uh, we're trying to be... We're trying to be green, but it's amazing uh, to see how people, um, you know, reconsider things when new technologies are are brought to life. And for me, I'm an old finance guy. I've been around for a long time, and for so many years, we've been trying to solve issues around uh, various firms in a marketplace, uh, trying to solve for the same problems. Everyone has the same clearing and settlement departments. They're doing you know, non-proprietary, uh, non-differentiating services over and over again at a great cost. And all of a sudden, the technology comes along and didn't make a lot of sense to me. And then you start talking about solving problems at a market level instead of a firm level. Mm -hmm. And the light, go light bulb goes off, and you really think about all the things we can achieve. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, that was. Uh, yeah, it struck me. I, I sat through to, um, Roger's presentation as well, and when I heard he was planning to, to talk about that, um, it, was, it was the day after I'd published, published my um, blog post on why permissionless blockchains make no sense. I said, right, explain to me, Roger, exactly how you're going to reconcile what you just presented with what I've just blogged. But I shouldn't have worried. It was, it was, it was a great session. Yeah. yeah, it was tough to get your seat in there, yeah. but uh, I'm glad you got one. Yeah, I guess something else that stood out for me was I was thinking about, you, know, you talked about the, um, all the different things, you know, there, was, there was Ganache, there was, there was Web3. Um, something that wasn't in that list, and maybe because it was, it was, like, you know, it was already in, in, um, in flight, was, it was an example of a, something that was community generated for, um, for improving developers' lives um, that was generated you know, 
on the go by, by a firm who are building on Corda. So I sat through a few minutes of Matt Layton's um, pitch from TradeIX on, on Cordacity, and, and it was great. So this is, you know, this is you know, TradeIX you know, building, helping build Marco Polo. And as they're building on Corda, they're coming across some, like, some common patterns, some common things that they'd like to be better. And rather than just keeping it to themselves, you know, they've turned this, you know, Matt has turned this into a sort of like a reusable component, a much easier way of creating transactions and allowing, you, allowing yourself to understand what they're for, and then contributed it back. So it was, it was just great because it's in like exactly, exactly the same theme you're talking about, you know, the VS Code stuff, Ganache, Web3, and, and Cordacity, all these things that are sprouting up around the, your Corda ecosystem to make it easier to, to write and deploy apps. So it was, it was, it was, it was really good to see. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how you feel about this. I'm sure everybody's getting really thirsty, but you know, I just just uh, a year and a half ago, I, I knew almost everything that was going on in the firm, and I can't even I can't even keep track of the product roadmap at this point. There's so much, uh, you know, so, so much going on. Yeah. So what stood out for you? A whole bunch of announcements, a whole bunch of um, like presentations. Well, I'll tell you the, the thing that stood out for me. This was like a really big moment. Yeah. Uh, is that uh, as the founder and the CEO, I finally was invited to participate and be interviewed on Life in the Fast Chain. Has anyone heard about it here? <laughs> anyone heard about it? It's an amazing podcast. <laughs> there you go. A little, a, little, a little cheer for Life in the Fast Chain. So 39 episodes into it, I was finally invited, and Todd and I sat down and we, uh, we reminisced a little bit, uh, and it was really fun. But, you know, I'll tell you, Richard, like every year, I think for me, it's just uh, I come in. We all get really hyped up for Corticon, and, and I can be, as you guys know, a little bit high energy. And you, know, you think of a two-year-old child that just kind of runs around and eventually drops. And what I want to do is just kind of uh, take it all in stride. And I see so many familiar faces there's so many real believers, and, and it's kind of like it's a little easier to be a believer now because we're getting real traction, and I feel great about that. You know, even there's, there's some uh, Ethereum developers now uh, building cell phone Corda, which, you know, I love um, because I've been a little negative on Ethereum for about, uh, since, it was, since it was first developed. But, um, <laughs> and I still am. I'm, like, super negative. I, I'm always, they always say, like, Dave, lay off the Ethereum crap crowd or they'll kill you in social media, but I'm just interested in solving real world business problems and I, I, don't, I don't see how that works. And also the other thing is, is that we've seen so many of you have started on other technologies um, and, have, and have moved to Corda. So that to me is a, is a big validation. But I have to tell you all that as, as CEO, I just, I constantly think that, you know, uh, we need to get better. We need to, uh, you know, we need to provide better services. We need to make our technology more user friendly. We make, we need to make it completely reliable, um, and that's why we're investing at the level we are. Uh, that was a long-winded answer, but I just, uh, I look forward to this every year, and I think we already have the uh, date set for next year. But I got another day to enjoy tomorrow. So yeah, same here. Yeah. Anything else? Richard? Yes. My only, my only other thing was I'm, look, I'm looking forward to tomorrow because you know, today was, and I tried to make sure I split my difference, split my time between the R3 team presenting and the, uh, the, the, the community presenting to get a, a full picture. But today was, today was the developer day. It was, it was, it was, it was about the nuts and bolts and, and it was fascinating. I think the thing I'm probably looking forward to, and I shouldn't say this to CTO, but the thing I'm probably looking forward to even more tomorrow is actually hearing the, the, the community who were building applications on top of Corda telling us about the business problems they're solving. Because you know, I, I gave some examples but you know, they were quite, you know, they're well-known examples I gave in my talk. Um, you know, I know about most of them because I learned about them at Cordicon last year and spoke to, spoke to the, uh, the R3 team since. So I'm hoping by the end of tomorrow to have like you know, 10 new stories of, of what people are building on Corda in different industries, different parts of the world. So, uh, yeah, so I can't wait. By the way, that slide with all of the different industries I had never seen before. Mm. Um, so that, that's very, very exciting as well. And yeah, I think that it's, uh, it's pretty cool that we started in finance and we find ourselves in... Uh, in so many different industries today. So I thank the community for that, uh, for sure. And uh, I think we, we promise to continue to do everything we can to improve your experience and to build the ecosystem. So, so leave here today and go and multiply and you know, <laughs> just, just preach, preach the word, please. You know, the idea that there's 12 million Java developers, I want to stand up one day and talk about the 12 million uh, Corda developers. But uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody. I'm sure you're all looking forward to the, uh, uh, to the Court of Cocktails. 
you know, R, R3 is, comes up with some pretty fancy names uh, for things. We have like our Bar 3 event on, uh, it's on Thursdays in, uh, in New York and Fridays in London. Uh, it's probably something to do because the London guys hit it a little bit harder. We want to make sure they, 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 they would be in at work the uh, you'll, following You'll discover day. that tonight. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I want to just close by thanking everybody for your participation uh, today. The energy is uh, infectious, and um, I couldn't even weave my way through uh, in between sessions, and the sessions were were really, really uh, fun uh, to participate in and, and very crowded and very lively. So I don't know if you have any last word, my dear CTO. Just, just to echo that, it's um, just walking around, just the sheer number of people coming up to me um, talking about what they're billing on Corda, and, and it's every single conversation had real content. You know, this is, there's, sometimes you go to conferences and it's, you know, there's people talking about talking about things, but it felt like I was in a room full of a thousand builders and makers. It, it's, it's been really, really energizing. So, so thank you, and um, yeah, enjoy the drinks. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much.